Aaron Palacios Jansen, one of the most important keys to a consistent and solid golf shot is your grip. If you're a right-handed golfer like me, it starts with your left hand. As you start, you want to bend over and let your arms hang naturally. You can see my left hand thumb hangs inward slightly. That's how you want to put your hand on the club. So you can see when I grip the glove hand on the club, my thumb actually goes to the side of the shaft. Where a lot of people go wrong is they actually put that thumb straight down the shaft and it gets the grip too high in the palm. So if you grip with your thumb straight down the shaft and then you straighten your arm as it would be at impact, it opens up the club face. Ideally, you want the grip to be in the fingers so that thumb is slightly to the side. Here are a few key points. The little V that that thumb and forefinger form point to the right side of your face and you should be able to see two knuckles of that left hand. Now you can overdo it and put your thumb to the side and if you do that, that will close the club face. So you want to adjust your grip until you can straighten your arm and that club face stays square. Now once you have your left hand on, then you simply swing in and put your right hand on the club as well. And a few key points here, that lifeline that's on the palm of your right hand goes right on top of your left thumb and then you wrap your fingers around it. So that little V that that thumb and forefinger also point to the right side of your face. From here, there are a couple of different ways to grip the club. You can overlap your pinky between your index finger, like I'm doing here, that's called an overlap grip. You can do a 10 finger grip, or you can interlock, whatever feels comfortable to you. The key is to make sure that your hands are in the correct position so that you have a neutral grip, so that when you swing and straighten your arms at impact, that club face stays square.